I have had my 2023 Vespa GTS in Bianco Innocente for about five months and 2,500 miles now. So I figured this would be a good time to update my original review. So I'm gonna update my original review. If you saw my original review, you might remember I used a little bit of colorful language in that one. So this time I'm gonna to tone it down a little bit and uh, keep it, you know, PG-13. As far as little quirks and quibbles, let me start off with this one, because this one drives me mad. When I go to the grocery store to pick up the crap that I pick up at the grocery store, and I, uh, you know, lock the handlebars in position so it doesn't get stolen, and I go to open up my thing to get my stuff, it won't stay up. Oh, that drives me absolutely fucking nuts. It just, why, why, why that? Why, is that, would that have been a, come on, man. So speaking of the seat, I've mentioned this in a previous review, but take a listen to this. It's squeaky. How is it, D? It's squeaky, 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 squeaky. I don't know. I'm not expecting the world here, but for an $8,000 scooter, the squeaking? No, not so much. I'm not gonna belabor the point about how irritating the oil dipstick is to check your oil, because that's what a dipstick is for, and you can't get to it. And I'm not gonna belabor the point about how messy it is to sometimes put gas in this thing and it just erupts like Mount St. Helens ass. But you get it, the oil dipstick is a pain and sometimes filling the gas tank is a, just a, ugh, whatever. I'm also not gonna rehash how unsafe the kickstand is, but trust me, it's, it's not a thing. Don't. Shut up. Quiet. Try to make a bug film here. One thing I will harp on is the headlight, again, is not good. It projects this weird image thing. It's like you're seeing ghosts or Jesus or something, I don't know. But at night, not, not great. Um, but here's a more serious problem. I don't know if you can see that, but right now the headlight is not on. Do you see that? High beam, low beam. Sometimes the damn thing just goes out. I don't know why. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to take it in to be serviced, but that's not cool. Especially when you're riding at night and you go from high beams to low beams. It's not, and there it goes, it's out. As I've mentioned before, the switches on this thing suck. And this is the result. A headlight that comes on sometimes, goes off sometimes. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I can't get it to do it now, but you saw it five seconds ago. Oh boy. All right, that's probably enough bitching for one day. Let's go take it for a ride and I'll tell you about the things that I absolutely love about it. So as far as the good stuff on this scooter, and there's a lot, the suspension was upgraded for the 2023 model. Although I only have very limited experience on the GTS prior to the 2023 model, I do have some experience on the Liberty 150S, uh, which I had prior to this. And I will say that when you hit a bump on the Liberty 150S, your nuts ended up in your throat. Um, that's not a good look. On this scooter, you hit a bump, a fairly moderately sized bump, and uh, it, it goes right over it for the most part. As far as speed and acceleration, uh, it's good and bad. So here's my acceleration. I've got it cranked right now. And it's not bad off the line, to be honest. The problem is, when you get up to about, oh, I don't know, 60, 65 Vespa miles, and you punch it, say to go around some traffic or whatever, there's not a whole lot going on past 60 Vespa miles per hour. Like I said, off the line, not bad. You can smoke a Mustang or whatever. 60 to 75-ish? You could smoke a small turtle. Two, maybe? I don't know. It's not the most confidence-inspiring twist of the throttle is what I'm trying to say. It's not horrible. And, you know, to be realistic, we're talking about a scooter here. We're not talking about a Ducati. So I'll show you what this has got off the line. 
from this red light here. I'll give it a good little twist to the old Toronto. Ready? Here we go. That's pretty much floored. I mean, you know, it is what it is, right? It's not bad. It's fast enough to be dangerous. It's not fast enough for you. You're gonna like, you're not gonna lose sleep over how fast you're going. Let's put it that way. Just as a side note, it's about 40 degrees and I'm freezing my nips off right now. The 2023 Vespa GTS is also pretty nimble. And part of that is because it's a Vespa GTS. Part of that probably has something to do with the upgraded suspension. I feel very confident taking the scooter into the twisties. Uh, it does pretty much what I want it to do. It does it quick. Um, and it's fairly confidence inspiring. And maybe it's just because I have some experience on the scooter now, but when I get it up to speed and it's a little windy or whatever, I don't feel like I'm getting blown around too badly. Um, I guess maybe when I first started out and when I had the Liberty, I felt like like a three mile an hour crosswind that I was gonna end up in friggin' Kentucky. You know, it has enough weight to make you feel like you're riding something solid, but it's not so heavy that it feels like it's gonna tip over every time you come to a stop. Gas mileage has been pretty fantastic. This thing has a 2.2 gallon tank on it, I believe. And I feel like I'm getting somewhere around 140 miles a tank or something like that. I don't feel like it's lacking in that. Uh, of course, I haven't tried to. I haven't gone on any like huge road trip where um, I've had to fill the tank like six times a day. But um, I can see that as a possibility. You've seen from one of my other videos. I'll link to it up there. Um, top speed that I've gotten off this is about 78 miles per hour. That's real miles per hour, not Vespa miles per hour. Vespa miles per hour is uh, usually about five to ten miles per hour more than what you're actually going. So if you go in 70, the thing will say you're going 126, something like that, I don't know. I've complained about that enough, you all know the deal. I haven't had any more problems with starting. As you may remember from a previous video, I did have some problems uh, getting the scooter to start uh, when I first got it, but that was because it shipped with tight valves, which were fixed by Vespa Portland here in Portland, Oregon. And uh, since then, no problems whatsoever. Runs like a top. Top of what I don't know. I'm not noticing any unusual tire wear. I did puncture a tire not too long ago by pulling over to the side of the road and getting a friggin' nail stuck in it. Um, 200 bucks to replace the tire, something like that, but that was my own damn fault. What are you gonna do? Hold a copy, it's cold out here. What else can I tell you after 2,500 miles of riding this beast? Well, I can tell you that in about 500 miles, it's going in for an oil change. Uh, I'm gonna try to do that every 3,000 miles. And then when I hit 6,000 miles, it goes in for, I guess, a big service. I think it gets its uh, valves checked again and maybe a new belt. Not really sure, um, but that'll be next year. I'll probably get my 3,000 mile in before the end of this year because I've only got 500 miles left and I'm damn well planning to ride out this cold if I can ever feel my extremities again. Right now I can feel um, probably 40% uh, of my body parts and some of them that I can't feel are the important ones, if you know what I'm saying. Ooh, daddy. Anyway, 2,500 miles, five months no major problems a lot of fun a lot of that 2500 miles is group rides and solo rides to nowhere sometimes it's just to get the hell out of the house and away from work for a few minutes sometimes it's to go to the grocery store and you know do what people do at grocery stores strip naked and scream i don't know that's what you do right leave a note in the comments so here's another minor complaint the brakes themselves seem to be fine. They do what they need to do. They make you stop, right? Like that. Ooh. How you doing? But, and of course it's not doing it right now for me to show you. However, you may have noticed in previous videos, the back brake squeaks like a mother. It takes a good five or 10 miles of riding for the squeak to go away. That's embarrassing uh, to be driving around on a squeaky scooter. You know, they say the squeaky scooter gets the worm. Wait, that's not, that's not how that phrase goes at all. Anyway, um, it squeaks. 
like crazy uh, when you first get going. Uh, even just rolling it around. Like if I have to roll the scooter out of the garage without even the brakes being on, it squeaks. It sounds cheap. It drives me crackers, man. I don't know. But it's just irritating as all shit. Anyway, 2,500 miles squeaky brakes. Figured that would have gone away by now, but it has not. All right, so here's the suspension. Look at it, I'm going over speed mode. Pretty nice. You can hardly feel it, except for the fact that I almost got launched into freaking space. But that's not the suspension's fault. That's the fault of uh, city government thinking putting speed bumps in the middle of a road is going to uh, do anything except for cause people to use them as jumps. Here we go, watch this. Yeehaw, woo, okay. Anyway, I'll chuck the old Vespa on the freeway here so you can get a feel for what it's like to drive on a freeway on a tiny scooter. <laughs> this is not my favorite thing in the world to do. Especially when there's traffic like this. Here we are on the freeway heading towards Beaverton. If you've ever been to Beaverton, oh, it's beautiful this time of year. Again, I'm at 60. I'm trying to punch it. It's giving me a little bit of love, but it's, you know, it's not enough to, um, let's put it this way. My socks are still on. They have not been knocked off. Do you catch what I'm saying? You feel what I'm laying down? Yeah, we're moving at a decent clip here on the freeway. This is my beautiful Portland, Oregon. And the sun is going to absolutely blind the shit out of me. Look, that's alright. I, I, I do this for you people. I don't do this for me. I do this for the three of you that watch my videos. Oh god damn it, it's cold. This is freeway driving on a bridge where it's definitely windy. Um, I'm not getting blown around terribly. You could probably see maybe that the scooter is pretty stable. I'm not going all that fast uh, at this point. But, you know. This is what you can expect. Did I mention my nips freezing off? Because they're, uh, how do you say freezing off? It's right here. I could use a little bit more kick. They got it, my friends. They got it. So anyway, like I said, the Bluetooth is pretty much unusable. It's still got these silver chrome plastic things. It's still like, like, like that was going to change in five months, but I don't know. The switches and buttons, as maybe I've mentioned, sock still. But it does have this little loop down here, so you can put your groceries on it. Let me tell you one other thing that I wanted to tell you about the Vespa GTS. The seat is incredibly comfortable. I have to say, in all of the miles that I've put on this scooter, and I spent, you know, 150 mile days, I've never once had any butt pain. This is one heck of a seat. This is not my first rodeo, and I've been on, uh, I've been on two wheelers where the seat felt like you were sitting on you know, concrete knives. So this sucks. I hate this bridge more than I hate just about anything in the world. Oh, okay. Now the wind is getting a little fierce. I'm going uh, 55 Vespa miles per hour and I'm getting blown around like, okay. So it's not all angels and bubble gum. Um, yeah, that was a little, that's a, that's, this is a bit much if I'm being honest, okay? But, no, it sucks. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. That sucked. Oh. Oh, God. All right, then. Okay. There we go. We're back. We're back, baby. Dear God. I'm getting blown around like a cheap kite. All right. That's enough fun for one day. Remember that time I almost crashed it in the back of a dump truck? Yeah. So if my Vespa got stolen tomorrow... Would I run out and buy another one immediately? And the answer, I do believe, is yes. Even with all its little quirks and squeaks and whatever. I just, I can't imagine not having this thing in my life. Having good suspension and decent off-the-line pickup. It's sexy as f as we all know. It's just, it's like the whole package. Here's the complicating factor in it all, though. If this were stolen tomorrow and someone handed me an insurance check for like eight grand and said, okay, you know, go buy yourself a new one. I'd be tempted to buy a motorcycle. I'm dying to get a motorcycle. I've been looking, I'm looking at something like a Honda CB500X. I want to go on adventures, feeling the adventure in my soul. Right here, is that my soul? I don't know where my soul is, it's down here somewhere. If you have any experience with a uh, Honda CB500X or something similar, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Um, I'm sure that there are a bunch of uh, my scooter folk on here who also ride motorcycles. Um, so I'm curious to know what you ride, 
especially if it's, you know, something in the adventure realm. I want to strap some bags onto it, and I want to do, like, all the way from Portland to Boston. That's my big dream, Portland to Boston. I'm tempted to do it on the Vespa, but uh, that just feels like it's going to get old pretty quick. It's okay to have a motorcycle and a scooter, right? Honey, that's cool, right? I don't know. I will go to my grave saying that these switches are garbage. Garbage! Garbage switches! I just, I just turned and I went and did the little flicky of the, of the blinky. It didn't do anything. I can't feel it. I can't feel if it's engaged or not. There's gotta be better switches out there. Is this the cheapest possible switch that Italy could produce? Yes. On a scooter this expensive, I just want something nicer than that switch because I hate it. I hate that switch so much. See, now I'm getting upset. Look what you did to me, Vespa. I'm angry. I'm angry at a switch. I'm switch angry. And now the person in front of me is wondering why I'm doing this with my hands. It's because of this damn switch. Do you understand? Do you want to talk about it? Oh, maybe I should just get myself a Harley and just give in. Just drive a Harley around because, you know, the loud pipes. I don't know if you know this, but they say loves. It's true. I read it on the internet. You see that? You see the pattern that it's projecting? That's what happened. That's what the headlight is like. It looks like you're going through some sort of sci-fi movie or something when you're riding around with the headlight like this. And this is the high beam. The high beam, I mean, it's high. It's a beam. Do I love my 2023 Vespa GTS? Of course I do. Does it have its little quirks? Sure. After 2,500 miles and five months, if something happened and I needed to get a new one, would I buy a new one? <laughs> Absolutely. 100%. Hey. Look at her. Is she cute? Anyway, that's it for me. If you liked the video, like the video, and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. And, uh, you know, check out one of these videos over here, because those are good. Probably. Probably not.